Hey guys, what's up? It's McNeil from uh, Louisa Automotive. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the car market. So that's have to do with cars for sale and the repair business. Cause you know, we do a little bit of repairs as well, or mainly repairs right now. Uh, and we also dabble in a little bit of car sales, okay? Uh, and a subscriber did ask me, what's my thoughts and the update on the car business. So I'm gonna try to talk a little bit about that today. <music> My name is McNeil and I'm the owner of Louis Auto. Um, let's start with uh, car prices. I think the car prices are starting to go down a little bit. Uh, it's, it's taking a little bit of a haircut and normally that happens when new car sales pick up. So uh, a lot of trucks on the market right now uh, if you look at any Ram dealership, a lot of the bigger dealerships, they're at capacity again, more or less. It looks like it got tons and tons of new vehicles on the market. So as the new cars come on the market, uh, guys are buying those new cars. What's, what's going to happen is they trade in the used trucks or the used cars. It ends up on the market. There's a little bit of extra supply on the market, causing prices to go down a bit. Now, if you a new car dealer, uh, when I say new car dealer, I don't mean like the new franchise stores. I mean you a, a new used car dealer, you're new to the business. Do not panic and worry too much about those car prices because the idea is um, if you don't just hang on to your inventory for too long, it's not going to depreciate on you. If you buy the cars at a high price, but you're able to sell it before the market shift, you're still buying cars at a cheaper price to sell at a cheaper price, right? But if you bought cars at a peak of the market and you're hanging on to it and you're not letting it go, of course you're gonna lose money. So you gotta be careful with hanging on to your inventory too long. So you gotta flip that inventory a little bit quicker when the market is shifting. But I do believe prices are starting to trickle down a little bit. Now there's a however factor to that. Um, with interest rates higher, with uh, a little bit of, uncertainty in the real estate market and price when people are sensitive with how they spend their money and for that reason you find that people are still buying more used cars than uh new cars used cars always do well in recess recessionary times uh over new cars because guys are being conservative with their the, the payments and all that kind of stuff so if you're in the used car game you're still gonna make some money now talking about real estate pricing um this is the struggle that a lot of auto repair shops are having and i'm finding i'm seeing a lot more shops popping up for sale and, and some of them try to sell their business first and then that doesn't work out they eventually move out and the landlord's trying to sell the property where they are generally speaking how a real estate building is uh, evaluated or you figure out what the value of that building is is based on an income how much rent is somebody paying you uh would be the income of the landlord and then that would say what the building is worth so uh, landlords are seeing other properties being sold at 3 million, 2 million, talking about auto repair shops. And they're starting to think, well, if my building is worth $3 million, why am I renting it for six to $7,000? So these guys are raising the rent uh, significantly. And then unfortunately that is pushing some shops out of the business because auto repair guys are getting screwed on two ends. And while well, the cost of business is going up, not really screwed, that's just what the free market is. So the rent is going up uh, significantly uh, and the mechanics, trades, skill trades are declining. So it's hard to get really good tradesmen. And when you do find some good guys, you do have to pay them good money to keep them. So cost of labor is going up, cost of the property is going up. And guess what? Recessionary time, customers do not want to spend lots of money. So your income is not really going up. The solution is not just saying, hey, let's just raise the prices to our retail customers and they will pay. You know, they don't have money, right? But I think if we hang in there, obviously that the feeling to me is the same, that on the repair side, when times are hard, people would choose to fix the cars they have versus buy another one. And for that reason, uh, the repair business will pick up and guys will have lots of work in the future. But for now, even if the work is there, even if the money's being made, you're not keeping the money you're making because it goes to the landlord and it goes to the employees because it is uh, the cost of running your business has gone up significantly. I've seen a shop right next to me uh, off of, was that Jane and Lawrence was selling for $4 million. There's another one in Mississauga for 3.5 million. 
There was one in, I believe, in Richmond Hill. I'm going to try to find some and pop them while I'm talking here. But there are tons of shops coming up for sale. So what that's also going to do, hopefully, is landlords going to realize when they keep raising the rents as much as they do, they're pushing the tenants out. They cannot find tenants to come back and pay them the money that they were demanded from the tenants. So they can't find new tenants to pay that money. So they find that the property is empty. When the property is empty, they put the property up for sale. And then now there's so many properties on the market for sale. Uh, when you have guys like me in the business who are actually making uh, okay living and we're actually making some money in the business, if the landlord raises the rent too much, now you're going to say, why am I paying this joker X amount of dollars? I'm going to just buy the shop down the street. I'm buy a different shop. Uh, so the market have a way of iron itself out. So the landlords keep raising the rent. Guys are going to keep moving out. There are going to be tons of shops available on the market and you can find a property to uh, run your shop at. So if you are in the auto repair business, I know things seems hard right now for a lot of guys, but it's only going to get better. Uh, and uh, in the car sales as well, prices are changing right out the prices. Uh, you know, if you got some old inventory, let it go. That's why I let my charger go, right? I could have get good money for that charger a, a, a while ago, but uh, the market is changing and I wanted to be ahead of the market change so I just, just dump it still made some money check the cost reveal out if you haven't seen it yet um, and uh, you see that we still made money now uh, just before I end this video I just want to let you guys know uh, we don't have any sponsorships or anything so this video is sponsored by Lewis and Automotive uh, so all by all means go to our website loser.ca I know it's still kind of a little glitchy because we're still trying to finalize what's going on here but we do have tires and rims for sale on our website now even if you do not live really close to us we do have shipping available uh, so you don't have to have us install the tires for you can buy the rims and tire package that you want have it shipped to your house and take it to your local mechanic to have them install it for you if you live close by and you want to ship it to us and have us install it at our shop that's a possibility as well now again thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe like share and I catch you in the next one peace